Hi, and welcome back to another vlog on Shira Seven's channel. <laughs> it's yours truly, Shira Seven. How are you? Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine and also, you know, just share a few things with you guys today. So I hope you enjoy this. So I'm going to be using the Radiance Duval Spin Care Cleansing System. And this is what I use to wash my face with. It comes with several attachments, a small brush, another small brush, a pumice stone, and this large brush for when you shower, you can cleanse your body. And I love my Duval Radiance brush oh my goodness it spins and exfoliates gets all the dead skin also it reduces the appearance of pores and I love the large body brush because you can take it in the shower this is waterproof and have very soft touchable skin so I'm going to put this pumice attachment on there excuse me and you can get your feet your elbows, any rough spots on your body, and smooth them out. This is wonderful for pedicures as well. So I'm going to put the gentle cleansing brush on because I'm getting ready to clean my face and show you guys my skincare routine. So I'm going to be using this new cleanser that I'm trying out by Soap and Glory. It is the Vitamin C Face Wash. And I just put some on my Duval Radiance Skincare brush and voila of course I have to wet my face <laughs> now I'm just going to go over my face and just gently cleanse and get all that good soap in there this also reduces the appearance of pores it makes your skin very soft and shiny so that you have that inner glow that's just going to come out and also helps get rid of acne and gets all that grime and dirt, oil and makeup out. You know, I wear a lot of makeup, okay? So I got to clean. Got to clean. As I'm rinsing this off, my face feels so soft and clean. Now it's time to moisturize with my Belief True Cream. Love this. And next, I usually get a rose water of some sort and I spray my face all over. Now, if you guys are interested in the Duval Radiant Spin Care Cleansing System, uh, my coupon code is in the drop down bar below, Ashira70. And so you guys go check it out. You guys go and check out Duval Radiance Spin Care System and make sure you use my code for a 70% discount, Ashira70. And you too can have glowy, clear, clean skin. So now it's bath time. I love morning baths. So I like to relax and kind of do a little fancy bath when I do morning baths. And Thankfully, 360 Cafe Soul, Mind, and Body sent me these lovely bath products that I'm going to use this morning. So here's the Renewal Botanicals Bath Salt. Oh my gosh, can't wait to try. And the Lilies in the Valley Botanical Soap. Look at all the beautiful flowers. Wow. And there's also a little peaceful sweet dream sachet that you can put under your pillow or just use as aromatherapy and then there's the tantra massage oil and so i'm ready to get started with my bath her products are beautiful i'm going to link her information as well below she sells soaps bath soaps jewelry t-shirts and more you guys really have to go check out her shop online i will link everything below and it is 360 cafe the website is 360 cafe llc 
www.thelovelyfriendshop.com. I will also have all of the links available below so that you guys can go check out the online shop and get you guys goodies for your bath time as well. I love fancy baths. So I'm going to pour in this Renewal Botanical Bath Soak. And ooh, look how pretty it makes the water look. It's so nice. So you guys, I love the packaging as well. It's so cute. Now I'm going to relax. I have some candles lit. I'm gonna turn on some music and I'm just gonna soak in the tub and renew myself. And I hope that the Lilies in the Valley Botanical Soap is just as invigorating as the Renewal Botanical Bath Soak. I'm also going to add a little bit of the massage oil. I know it's for massage, but I love oils in my bath. And this smells so good, you guys. Y'all have to smell this. This smells so yummy. I, I want it in my bath. I want to rub it on me. I mean, y'all, the Tantra Massage Oil is bomb. So y'all go and smell it. And it also has little botanical herbs in it as well. How cute. You guys, 360 Cafe also sells t-shirts. And she designed this tote bag for me. <laughs> I love it. Look, beneficial, beneficial. <laughs> so you guys go check out her website. And I'm getting ready to get in the bathtub and relax. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. And don't forget to hit like. So, uh, Sasha wants to go to Starbucks. Oh my gosh. Actually, we both wanted to go. So we're going to head in the drive-thru to Starbucks. Yeah. The ginger turmeric. Yes, I say turmeric and not turmeric. I'm from the South and I say however I want to say it. And it's kind of spicy, but it's good for reducing inflammation which combats coronavirus and see starbucks is trying to serve this which is good i commend them for that they're not really saying what it's for but we know it's health nutrition students of the game we know you're on top of the world So we are practicing social distancing at Target. <laughs> oh. This is why I chose Target yeah, over Walmart because car, it's not as crowded. As well. So we just got out of Target. Sasha's drinking her drink. So it was a waste. We know it's gonna see her mouth because we're gonna have to wear her mask. Yeah, I only wear it because people like are looking at you strange if you don't have one on. Like, don't catch COVID. Don't get me the coronavirus. So, like, we only wear it when we go inside. What did you get? Would you get some Takis? Can I have a Taki? Or whatever those things are. What are they called? Shroombos Flames. Give me one. Let me see the bag. Show them the bag. You know they're gonna say, what are those? Okay, you know what? Now it's time to go home and organize and get some work done. As you guys know, I've been having the messiest vanity area for a while. This is how I feel that like it looks. This is how it really looks though. So I want to get this organized and look a lot better. It's just a little bit too cluttered for me. So I called in Sasha to help me organize. Eight hours later.
So if you guys want me to do a tour of my vanity area in my bathroom and go through some of the drawers, let me know. I will do one on my beauty channel and you guys can go check me out over there as well. That channel will also be linked below and it's a sure star. So today I wanted to talk about mockery and this is very important and this is also why a lot of women cannot find the type of man they want or type of husband they want is because many of us have become a mockery of what we are supposed to be or many of us have become a silly version a tainted version of our highest potential okay so what I mean by this is whenever I talk about um, getting up and looking your best feeling your best having a good attitude towards life and not putting your emotions and feelings behind every single thing someone says about you that probably isn't true and learning how to control those emotions I'm talking about the type of woman that understands her value understands her worth it would never make a mockery of herself by leaving her house looking trashy ratchet unfinished unkept you know inappropriate and I'm talking about leaving your house looking as if you are respectful of yourself, respectful of other people that may walk into your path as far as how you look. You're not offensive to children. Your mouth doesn't offend children or adults and that you are a great representation of yourself as well as other people that are grouped into a category with you okay so this is what leveling up to your highest self highest potential of self and not leaving you know a mark on the world as a mockery of what you could have or should have been that's a whole thing about leveling up and finding the type of man you deserve okay most men don't want a mockery of what they could have and so most men don't want a caricature of what you're supposed to be you know and most women don't want a mockery of a man either okay most women don't want a mockery of what is supposed to be the greatest version of that person or just a good version of that sort of person so if we want to move ahead if we want to be great if we want to meet people on our level that you know aren't as we don't want them to be then we have to also represent the same thing as well we cannot be a mockery we cannot be an insult we cannot be the shame we can't be the trash that gets overlooked and so that's so important during your level up get out of being a mockery when people make fun of a certain type of woman are you what they have in mind if the answer is yes then that means you're a mockery excuse me you're a mockery if people automatically assume that you do this this and that or have this this and that you could be a mockery of your highest self so you must figure out how to be authentic in your leveled up self and not allow the mockery or the insult or the um ratchetness trashiness you know to come through because you know it's it's not our fault how we were raised who taught us this and who taught us that but when you know better you must do better okay you don't stay in the same type of situation once you realize 
that it's not getting you anywhere and it is an insult to you and other people okay so that's my message for this vlog thank you guys so much for joining me today and loving my vlogs i really appreciate you guys so until next time bye